Hey, this is Dr. Story. I'm gonna give you an extreme example of how to help type two diabetes. Now, let me just say, this is YouTube. I don't recommend this, but I'm gonna give you, and this is for educational purposes, how could you feasibly cure type two diabetes? Well, if you've watched my other videos, you probably have a good understanding now of the, of the basics, the elementary steps of diabetes. Understanding that when you eat carbohydrate, how carbohydrate gets into our body, becomes blood sugar, and how our pancreas will secrete too much insulin because we're just eating the wrong types of carbohydrates and we're just eating too much of that carbohydrate and too much of that sugar. Having said that, we also covered what the pancreas does when there's not enough sugar in the bloodstream. So what happens in an extreme environment, an environment where we're not eating any carbohydrates at all? Well, our pancreas does something different. What it does is it uses glucagon and it's gonna make carbohydrates. And where it makes carbohydrates is out of the fat cells. So it takes fat out of our body, converts it in to blood sugar. Now, even a person who weighs 150 pounds that has th only 3% body fat, almost getting close to an uh, extreme athlete or almost dying, what ends up happening is that person still has four and a half pounds of fat on their body. Imagine a 200 pound person who is 30% body fat. They have 60 pounds of fat on them. So in this extreme situation, what, what can you do? Well, here's what some people have done. What they do is they literally cut carbohydrates out of their diet. All they eat is chicken, fish, eggs, meat, and that's it. That's all they eat. Well, what happens? Well, technically speaking, those people are starving for carbohydrates. Now, this is an extreme diet, but when people have extreme problems, this is how you do it. So here's what happens. All of a sudden, your pancreas doesn't need to make insulin anymore. It starts with that glucagon pulling fat out, creating its own carbohydrates. What tends to happen is this actually relaxes the pancreas and allows it to rest itself from making insulin. When people do this, what ends up happening is very often they cure their type 2 diabetes. This is the whole basis of these ketogenic diets or these Atkins diets. All these high protein, high fat, no carbohydrate diets. This is what they're doing. Now, I don't really recommend this. I think a more balanced diet is appropriate because quite frankly, it's more realistic. But if I personally weighed 300 pounds and was 50% body fat, this is how I would solve my own problem. I would initially, for whatever period of time it took, do this ketogenic or Atkins style type of dieting to force my body to cure itself of type two diabetes. This is an extreme example. Again, I don't recommend it for most of my patients, but it's an exercise of education is what would and what could feasibly happen if you just starved yourself of carbohydrates, yet still ate food that contained protein and fat. So it's interesting, it's one way to do things, but in my experience dealing with patients that have done this, it's not really a long lasting solution because you can't just starve yourself of carbohydrates for the rest of your life. Because when you take away something from a patient and say you can never have it again, that's all they think about. And it's not long before they end up falling off the wagon. So that's, that's uh, my advice. So if you like my videos, give me a thumbs up. Ask any questions in the comment section below. I do read your comments and I will answer them if they're uh, appropriate questions. And give this video to other people that have type 2 diabetes. It may very well help them. So thanks for watching.